It's the third year for the All-Star Show, and yes, it's an inclusive event, but it also shows these children their abilities that they have yet to discover. We're talking about the fact that we got all All-Stars, and there's no, there's absolutely no questioning that. Kelly Potter! This is Arnold Ariaga from Toloso Midway Primary, one of the special needs children of all ages getting the chance to take part in a livestock show. Is this your first time here? Yeah! And you're excited? Yeah! <laughs> this is something they don't do often, so I enjoy being able to see them try something new. A lot of them haven't even seen a goat or a lamb, and even the volunteers, the volunteers love this. The children get to show a goat or lamb with the help of a volunteer and go through what you would in a livestock show, talking to a judge and getting a ribbon. Julia Gilliam was inspired to create the All-Star Show as a freshman in high school. I saw a lack of kids with special needs in 4-H and participating in the livestock show, and I really wanted them to get involved. 4-H has so many great opportunities for, for everybody. Her hope was to open more possibilities for children with special needs. We've actually had a few kids start 4-H. Uh, they've shown a goat or a lamb. So very impactful. This will be Gilliam's last year running the show as she prepares to graduate. Two young men will be stepping up to take the reins for next year's All-Star Show. Reporting in Robstown, around Hammy, Chris 6 News.